Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeff with BearOverBlogger.com and today I'm going to show you something I've had in my yard for oh, I don't know, three, maybe four months or more. Uh, pretty much most of the winter. And it's not something I uh, don't commonly see in my yard throughout the, uh, the year. Is uh, this great horned owl. Actually, I get uh, over the winter, I've had two of them at a time here. I think I've got a pair that's kind of um, taken my yard as part of their uh, roosting area. So it's pretty common when I come out here every morning and I see two of them sitting in this tree. This tree's probably 30 feet from my back door and he's maybe 30, 40 feet in the air. So he's like right off the back side of my house and in my yard and he's right where um, I go around to do chores and feed the animals and stuff and he's been here um, three, four months more. I actually did a blog post about it when I first saw him um, on my blog and I'll put a link down in the description below if you haven't seen that. And they've been coming uh, most most days, usually six out of seven days I see at least one great horned owl in my yard. Um, a lot of days I'll see them both kind of sitting right next to each other. Today I've only got the one which isn't uncommon and some days I'll see them both. Every once in a while I'll come out and I won't see them and they'll be gone for a day or two but then they come back and they're usually here for four or five six days and then they'll be gone for a day or two but it's kind of interesting that I've had them here for this long. One summer I had an owl in my yard for probably five or six months. It would just sit out in my front yard um, every day and just kind of sleep in the trees kind of what these do I don't really they don't really do much I don't hear anything f out of, about them until oh about Half hour before the Sun goes down they get active they start hooting and they start moving around a little bit um, They'll fly from tree to tree here for a few minutes and then after about five or ten minutes of just kind of um, getting going they've take off and then I don't see him again until uh, sometimes I'll catch him. If I get up early in the morning right at sunrise, sometimes I catch him coming back in the morning. But during the daytime, what you're seeing here is pretty much what um, you see out of a great horned owl during the daytime. And this is why a lot of people have a hard time finding them is because they're not, they're not active. Um, they'll just kind of sit in the same spot and hardly even move because they pretty much sleep during the daytime. So finding great horned owls um, is kind of hard because they're they're kind of a nocturnal bird. So most people don't get to see them, on, especially on a regular basis like this. But that's just because of the nature that the birds just aren't active during the day. I have had barn owls in my yard from occasion, but those not nearly as common as I've had great horned owls in my yard. But I have occasionally um, had barn owls roosting in my trees, especially during really cold winters. Um, I've seen them here. But this is something that's fairly common um, in my yard, so I thought I'd want to do a short video and show you guys kind of this uh, unique <laughs> opportunity that I have of having great horned owls in my yard, and hopefully they stick around. Um, I don't know where they're nesting at. They, uh, from what I understand, they don't build nests. They kind of overtake nests, like raven nests and other bird nests that they just kind of steal from other birds. So. I don't expect them going to be nesting in my yard, although I have had a neighbor down the street a few years ago that did have a pair of great horned owls that raised um, some babies, some baby owls in their in their yard one year. So, but these I don't think they're going to nest here because I don't have any um, nests for them to overtake. Um, so I think they're just using this as a roosting area during the day. And below the tree, I'm not I'm not going to move the camera because it's uh, kind of set in this awkward position up at the owl, but right underneath the tree there's just dozens and dozens and dozens of owl pellets. So I know they've been um, sitting in this one spot for a very long time. And then this this roost that he's sitting on is actually the same very branch that this bird's sitting on is one that I see him on probably 90% of the time. They come and sit on the exact same spot. So it's kind of interesting. And he'll sit here during the day and then just before dark, they get active, start hooting around, and then they'll kind of hoot for a few minutes and then they go off and then I don't see him again until the next day. So, but this is kind of something just so unique that I wanted to share with you guys, um, especially that we have a kind of a nice day today. The sun's not that the best angle. It's actually behind the bird to the side a little bit. But it's a sunny day. It's not wind's not really blowing. Um, it's supposed to have a good 
weather week this week. So um, I was going to go out to the refuge today and try to do some more photography out there, but I think I'm going to wait for later in the week when it warms up a bit. We're supposed to be almost near 60 by later in the week. So I uh, will head out there later in the week. So today I thought I'd just do a quick little video on this uh, great horned owl that comes and hangs out in my yard um, almost every day. So pretty cool. But anyway, I um, hope this is uh, kind of interesting to you. It's something a lot of people don't get to see. And I see them so much out here that it's sometimes pr pretty common. But every day I wake up, the first thing I look at is up in the tree and see if the owls are there. And one of them was there today, so hopefully I'll see tomorrow, see them again tomorrow and again again. So, but this is something interesting I wanted to put out there and see, show people that hey, bird watching is can be done even in your own backyard, which I think is one of the coolest parts about bird watching is you can do some of it in your yard like I do. Um, not everybody gets great horned owls in their yard like I do, but um, just backyards are a great place for bird watching so anyway thought this would be kind of an interesting little uh, side note from videos from the refuge but uh, anyway if you wouldn't mind uh, hit the subscribe button if you got people you know that like owls share the video with them and uh, follow me at bearriverblogger.com and hopefully we will uh, see you later this week when I get out on the refuge and uh, see what's changed so anyway we'll catch you guys later